One of the easiest ways to improve the accuracy of an AR-15 is to install an aftermarket trigger, a performance trigger such as a two-stage trigger, and that's what we've got here. This is one from uh, Rock River Arms. It's their Chrome National Match Trigger. And the two-stage simply gives you two stages of trigger pull. The first is a light take-up, and it, the trigger will have a noticeable stop at the back of that first stage. And when you continue to pull through the shot, the release is a lot crisper and a lot shorter than what you find on a conventional mil-spec trigger that uh, only has one stage. It's th This is a lot longer and tends to be a lot rougher or crunkier than what you get with a uh, nice performance tune trigger. And what that does, that, that really improves your accuracy. You know, it's less opportunity during the trigger pull for you to lose sight alignment or introduce some other kind of variable that could throw the shot. The good thing is replacing uh, a stock trigger in an AR is really simple. You know, you've only got two pins that are holding it together. You knock them out, replace with your upgraded trigger assembly, put the pins back in and do a function check and you're ready to go. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Before you install the new trigger, you want to make sure that you lightly lubricate with grease, firearms grease, um, the pins, both pin channels in the hammer and the trigger, and also the metal-to-metal -metal contact points on a two-stage uh, two trigger. That's going to be here, 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 and here. Start your trigger disassembly by moving the hammer forward and setting your receiver on a bench block. Take a punch, and drive out the hammer pin, move the hammer, and do the same thing for the trigger. When you're installing the trigger, make sure that the two spring arms are in this forward position when you put it in. And those legs will be on the bottom of the receiver. At that point, you're putting in your pin from right to left. So you'll align it and try to get your hole aligned. Usually they just push right in, as did that one. install the hammer, the legs are actually going to go backwards and they're both going to sit across the trigger pin. So install it in that orientation and then you're going to have to put some pressure and twist that hammer and the idea now is to line up the pinhole so that you can insert the pin. Give it a little twist around get to a point and you should be able to possibly hammer it in place. Sometimes you have to do a little twisting and alignment midstream just to get it going. Always use your nylon end of your hammer and we're flush. So, trigger is in. See the first stage, you pull back, it stops, continue to pull through, and you got a real short, crisp break, which is just what you want for improved accuracy. Now again, whenever you're installing a new trigger setup, make sure you put a little bit of grease on the pins, as well as the pin channel through both the trigger and the hammer. And that should set you up for improving the accuracy of your AR.